Hi all. So this month I just wanted to do a quick video uh, going over something that is pretty basic but a lot of people seem to overlook when they begin to color a page and that's just simply making sure you are in the correct color space that you need to be uh, while coloring your page. And when you uh, or when I receive line art uh, from my editors, you know, they sometimes they can be in a myriad of different color spaces when I first get them and open them up. Uh, typically speaking, they'll be in grayscale, uh, though sometimes I'll, I'll get them and they'll be in either RGB or CMYK, or in this case, um, and this is a page from a recent uh, Star Wars Adventures that I had colored, um, and the line art is by Megan Levins, but um, in this case, the line art was delivered in bitmap. So, um, whenever I get my line art, first thing I do is make sure that uh, it's in uh, grayscale. Because, uh, well, first of all, with um, it's in bitmap, you can't really do much with it, so it needs to be in grayscale before you start anyways. But also, if it's in RGB and CMYK, I want to make sure there's no color information in my blacks. I just want black and white. So, so first thing there, I go up to image mode, and then I just go to grayscale, and put it into grayscale. So, all right, now from there, you know, colorists, you know, obviously only work in either, you know, directly in CMYK, which is what the final output needs to be, um, or uh, RGB, they work in RGB and then when they finish up they convert into CMYK uh, and I've done both. Uh, earlier in my career I used to work in CM directly in CMYK. Uh, nowadays I work in RGB and convert to CMYK and there's pros and cons for doing both. Uh, I've talked about it in other videos. I'm not going to get back into it right now. Um, but anyway, so a lot of people, you know, to go into their color mode, they'll go to image mode and select, you know, RGB or CMYK right there. And that is actually the wrong way to do it because you don't know the specific RGB or CMYK profile you're converting into when you do that. So what you want to do is you want to go to edit and actually you can go and set your color settings here um, and here's working spaces I have mine set to Adobe RGB 1998 which is what I normally work in um, and I like this RGB profile because I find that it's uh, one of the best RGB profiles um, that gives me a good conversion into CMYK when I'm done with the file and the CMYK profile I work in is right here with where I've swap coded. Actually I'll get into this. Uh, this is the profile that Marvel um, usually uh, requires and I will typically use this color profile if you know for other publishers too unless they uh, provide me with different settings. But here you know, I'm going to show you if you don't if you don't already have your appropriate CMYK settings, you would go to custom CMYK and under ink colors you would come and select swap coded. You know, dot gray, grain, uh, yeah, I just do standard 20%. Separation type is UCR with a black ink limit at 100% and then total ink limit 300%. Like I said, this is where uh, Marvel uh, requires it to be. I know a lot of people will actually work at a 280 ink limit, um, and uh, I know that that seems to be what a lot of people like to do for like image comics, even though for image I usually still set mine to 300, but I know a lot of people prefer 280 for image. Uh, and then if you're going to work on something that's you know going to be printed on like uh, newsprint, which is more absorbent, uh, you'd probably need something lower like 240. Uh, but you know for the purposes of this talk, I'm you know going to stick with Marvel's 300%. So I'm going to hit OK. Um, OK. So now um, you need to get your color space 
into one of those and to to know for sure that you're going to convert to one of those, you go down to edit and you go to convert to profile. And so if you're going to work directly in CMYK, you would select uh, this, hit OK, and then that'll put you in the correct uh, CMYK space. Or as I mentioned, I, like I do it, is I'll go into um, working RGB, Adobe RGB uh, 1998, hit OK. So now I'm in RGB. Um, but I want to make sure it's showing me the colors that I was going to print in. So then I go into view, proof color setups, and make sure I turn on working CMYK. So now you can see it's in RGB, but is previewing in CMYK. So now when I color it, it'll show me what it would look like in the final color space. Uh, and then when I'm done and I flatten my image to a single layer, then again, I'll go back to convert to profile and now I'll put it into that CMYK space. And so that's basically how you manage your color profiles and make sure you're coloring and um, doing your final output into the correct color spaces. Um, so I know there's a lot of information there, uh, but I hope you know that's you know, easy to uh, comprehend and that this, you know, might help some people out there to make sure that, uh, you know, you're producing professional colors that uh, can go straight to print. Um, yep, so that's all I have here. If, uh, you know, you have any comments or questions on this video, you know, please leave a comment and I'll try to respond to it as soon as I can. And of course, if you haven't already, you know, please uh, subscribe to my channel. All right, I'll see you next time.